has everything. Bumping in, banging. <laughs> Big boy Big neighborhood. Boy. All righty, ladies and what gentlemen. Up? It's crazy because you... And you know what? I don't even want to emphasize on the the whole goodbyes and all that yeah, because yeah, there's yeah. work to do. And yeah. we got Tito Ortiz yeah, in what the up, neighborhood. Man, welcome back to the neighborhood, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Man, you, man, so it's 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 really go time once again. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This, and this is like... With this being Tito Ortiz, your last fight, you say MMA... This is it. Win, this lose, or draw. Wow. Win, win, no, or it's win. Win, 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 yeah. win. Ain't no yeah. lose. There ain't no yeah. loss. There ain't no losing in my mind. Win, my win, not there. or win. Win, this win, is or win. It. This is it. 20 years. Um, I gave my life to this career of mixed yeah, martial man. arts. I mean, since 1997, it's been 20 years I've been competing. Um, I won world titles. I made my millions. I've done what I needed to do in the sport. Um, it's time to move on to something more interesting, something that's not as uh, demanding on the body, taxing right. on the body. And uh, I still and got my wits the, about me, and I'm thankful. Yes, this is the end of a legacy, man. Yeah, bro. I'm like, happy though, man. I'm. It, it's time. I want to watch my kids grow up. You know. And, but you know what's crazy though, Tito, is that when when a lot of people that were introduced to MMA, and if it's UFC or whatever, it was like you were <laughs> the poster child for an organization or mm-hmm. for a whole like movement of MMA. Like, your mm-hmm. name was synonymous with MMA. It was yeah. Tito Ortiz. That was the only name, a few of the only names yeah. that cats knew. Yeah. And most of those names aren't competing. No, mm. no, no, no. I, you know what? I, I really understood it. You know, I watch, uh, rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. But uh, I watch what he did do, what he did with boxing. I watch what Hulk Hogan did with professional wrestling. Mm. Why couldn't I do the same thing with mixed martial arts? Mm-hmm. And I did. And I did it with integrity. Mm-hmm. I, did it, I did it my way, no matter what. Um, I never bound out on nobody. And very exciting. I always, and I, when I came out in a fight, I gave my heart and soul. No matter what, every time I stepped in that cage, I was fighting for my life. And that's the way I've always fought, and that's the way I always would will fight and anything I try to do. Tito, you gave me some extremely oh great pay-per-view. Some great fight, you know? <laughs> Extremely. And I love when we when we say the hunting to beach bad boy, you gave it to us, yes. bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was like when somebody was sitting there talking mess. And you kind of eulogized them and you buried them. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, th- and those things you would never be able to forget what you have given to the sport. And you Thank say you. your biggest enemy, Tito, is your body. Yeah. Yeah. I've had eight surgeries. I've had uh, ACL yeah, replaced bro. my left knee, ACL replaced my right knee, 50% of my meniscus taken out of my right knee, L45, S1 fused, which are the lowest lumbar in my back fused, um, C6, C7 fused, which is the uh, neck part. Uh, C4, C5 disc replacement, C4, C3 fused. I've had a reattached retina in my left eye. Um, I'm like a gladiator, man. I've been through the I've been through the works. I've been through Jesus. the grind. And, hey, and man, I, you read one. that like I'm Gosh. looking at this. Yeah, bro. Yes. And it says I've had 26, 27 concussions, yeah. hundreds of uh, stitches. Yeah. I've been through the grinder. Yes, My sir. biggest enemy is my body. Yes. But my mind just so oh, damn man. strong. Oh my god! I and this see. is—I mean, this is for all the fans that are listening. Um, you know, you can get through anything in life. You just got to make your mind strong and just believe in positive reinforcement. Mm-hmm. I've had positive reinforcement through my whole life. There was a period, you know, through about 2006 to 2012, that I went through some really bad stuff. Where I was trying to help a person, and I got lost. Mm-hmm. I lost myself. But you know, at the end of the day, um, in 2013, I ended up getting rid of that person, getting out of my life, and I really found myself mm-hmm. i found myself who i truly was and my training partners were like man where have you been right and it's like you we would build you up so much from monday until friday and then all of a sudden sun, saturday sunday you'd be gone oh. you come back on monday and we'd have to rebuild you again wow he goes now is just i'm happy big boy i'm happy you life's know, great man what i love about this too though man is like it's it's you saying okay i'm gonna go ahead grab this last w and then i'm gone yeah. we haven't seen where it's like, man, like you just you're like you're done. But they seem like they like I could watch a Tito Ortiz fight <laughs> if I could just continue to put you in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's but, one that's one thing I don't want to do. You know, I still have my wits about right. me. You know, I still have my head, my shoulders. Of course, it's a huge head, and everybody could joke about that. But, now, you know, I'm a smart man. And you're I'm, Tito I'm, Ortiz. It is yeah, what it right. is. But uh, I'm I'm one of a kind, man. There there ain't gonna be another Tito Ortiz. I've I've did what I needed to do in the sport of mixed martial arts. I've uh, you know really inspired a lot of people's lives and I'm, I'm very very thankful i mean you gotta understand before i even fought i was going to college to become a wrestler a wrestling coach and a high school teacher 
for special education for special ed kids, mm-hmm. not the kids who are mentally challenged, just the kids who who came from a bad background, mm-hmm. kids that their parents weren't there. Because I was that child in, in high school. Mm-hmm. I was that kid, and wrestling saved my life. So I was able to give back, not only just in a wrestling room, now I'm able to give back millions of kids across the world of seeing what hard work and dedication comes from. Because I was never a kid with a silver spoon in my mouth. I mean, 12, 13, 11, 10, 9. I lived in a motel in, in uh, Santa Ana, oh, of Harbor and First, Harbor and Fifth Street. I mean, Best Western, Motel Sixth. I mean, my parents had a bad drug problem. My mother got clean and gave me an opportunity in life that I don't think any other person could ever do. And I'm very, very thankful for my mother, Joyce Johnson Robles, who's, who's really gave me an opportunity and showed me what a true parent should be like. And I had to make that same decision for my kid's future. And I made that same de- decision on, uh, was it 2013? Mm-hmm. Getting it out. And mm. yeah, and then, you know, my kids now, and it's been four years, they're thriving. How they're old made, are your kids now? They're seven. They're going to be eight, man. They're That's seven. crazy, oh, huh? They, they, they wrestle. Oh, they wrestle, Lord. bro. Yeah, I just no. seen a video of you that you put up on Instagram, and man. Yeah, he's a little monster. They got drink. the little Tito Ortiz in them, bro. Yeah. Well, you understand so they're doing 150 push-ups, 150 wow. sit-ups. A year? And, no, a night. <laughs> oh, a night. A night. A night. <laughs> I thought they was on my program. <laughs> yeah, no, no. 30 pull-ups a night also. They do that Damn. six days a week. They, they have Sunday off. Well, man, whatever yeah. they do I'm, in I'm, life, I'm instilling going... greatness in their life right now. Yeah, They dude. don't drink sodas. They don't Good. eat ice cream. They don't have fast food. I mean, they have protein shakes. I mean, snack is like, Amen. all right, go grab a protein shake. Whatever you've that's accomplished wow. in your life, they are going to dwarf that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, that, no, that, that, that's that's what we do. Bellator 170, Ooh. that's Chael Sonnen taking on Tito Ortiz. Mm-hmm. Now, this is one of those fights, Tito, like, you don't play when it comes to an opponent. You know, and, and Chael, he's a lighthearted guy. He like to have fun. He's an and, he, actor. When, and when he gets he in, he's an actor, bro. Yeah, he's but, an actor. but when he yes. gets in, he he understands the business. Of, yeah, but you yeah. you stay extremely like always it's, focused. It's it's real to me. This mm-hmm. is uh, I'm, I'm not going to get bullied by a bully. He's trying to be a bully. He's trying to be the actor bully. I ain't letting that happen. Mm-hmm. I've been in this game for too damn long. I fought too many of the best people in the world. I've always fought the best people in the world. And he thinks he's going to come in and walk through me after taking three years off. Man, this fool's on lost his mind. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> when when you think about just just Bellator 170 with, with Chael Sonnen, and, or, and I know that you still have rituals. And I remember one time, dude, I was at one of your fights, and you were the main event, and you were walking around. Yeah. Do you still get out and and? Yeah, yeah, to a certain extent, you know, um, I got to that point. I was with UFC that uh, Dan said, "You can't do do that anymore." I'm like, right. What do you mean I can't do it anymore? Right. You can't do that anymore. And so they kind of kept me from doing that. With Bellator, I'm able to do it. But yeah, I do it. I go out and because I, I want to talk to the fans. I want to give my time. They're they're spending thousands of dollars for front row tickets. I want to give the opportunity to go out there and talk to them, show them. And I feed off the energy. Yeah, man. Feed off that energy. That energy is just something that I love. But yeah, it's something I always do. Do Do you do predictions? Um, I don't do predictions. I heard that. But I, I, I predict it's going to be a war. I expect a war. I expect 15 minutes of hell. I expect um, that's what I've been doing in training. I expect pushing myself to the limit, being in the red zone, um, and just looking to kill. I'm, I'm trained to kill, and it's serious. It's, hey, man, I'm going to tell you straight up, and I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, bro. that kind of scared the shit yeah, out of me. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, gotta understand, big boy. This this is my job. It's is to compete against another man. Yes, but it's fighting. I'm trying to knock a guy out. I'm trying to hurt him because he's gonna do the same thing yeah, to me. That's what he. That's yeah, his. Man. He's gonna try to put stitches in my face. He's gonna try to clown me in front of millions of fans that are watching. He's gonna try to clown me in front of my kids. Mm-hmm. My son Jacob's gonna walk out with me for this fight. Wow! The first time ever. No MMA fighter. I don't even think any boxer or any any sport combative athlete has ever done that. I'm walking out with my son, Jake. Well, Vargas, I remember he used to walk out with his little one on his yeah. shoulders a lot. Oh, that's correct. See, yeah. So there we go. Fernando oh, yeah. Vargas. Um, is it is it different? Because you know your kids, they have, they of have age now. Yeah. Is it, does it make it a different fight walking in with your son or the time that you're away from him and training or? The, the time of, see, that's another thing too. That's uh, not the reason I'm retiring, but that's one of the big reasons. Um, my son, Journey, my little twin, um, he's like, dad, I miss you. Oh. And I was like. Man, almost started making me cry. Yeah, right now, I'm emotional. <laughs> don't but it's, it's, dad's I, at camp. I, 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 I don't want to miss out on him growing up. I missed out on that with my ch- my Jacob, my son Jacob. I missed out with that when I was the world champion. You know, I was in camp right nine months out of the year, up in Big Bear, training my butt off, trying to defend my title. And now it's just, what else do I have to show? Mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't. I made my money. I've done. I've won world titles. I became. People call me an icon. People call me a legend. I've Mm -hmm. done that in the sport. So, you know, I want to walk away on my own terms and be respected the way that I should have been respected with UFC. 
Mm. How far will you walk away? Like, um, I'm gonna walk out. I should probably right out the door, and that's about it. No, right. yeah. <laughs> I'm back, guys. I, yeah, no, but I, no, you I, gotta be yeah. in wanna, with I, Bellator so well. Like, you can't. They're walk on a away roll right now, man. It it's getting yeah. bigger yeah. and bigger. This company's getting bigger and bigger, and it's cool to see Viacom back them. It's cool mm -hmm. to see Spike back them. Yes. It's cool to see that they're actually and good going fights forward. and great fights. So yeah, these man. guys are coming out, and they're able to have their own sponsorships. Mm. They're able to speak the way they want to want to talk, and it's just it's great to see that they're not held down. Right. I mean, it's, it's not a um Did UFC become a machine? It became like, a machine, corp a corporate machine. That's exactly wow. what it became. That's exactly Damn. what it became. And it's sad because, you know, I remember when it was a family. I remember it was just like, you know, you get Christmas gifts all the time, birthday gifts all the time, things like that. And it, that that was lost. I remember yeah. even just when they started to take away even the sponsorships. The sponsorships. Yeah, and it was like, saying, man, like man. sometimes it was like some of the fighters on some of the lower cards were getting nothing. Yeah. And nothing. you understand, we're making, I mean, when I first started, I was making more of my sponsorships than I were on my fights. Yes. I mean, it was just crazy. I remember we sponsored you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was, was us, the neighborhood, and it was <laughs> A&G. Yes. Remember, yes, it yep, was yep. Alfred over at A&G. Yep, yes. A &G, yep. yeah. and, but it's it just like I say, once again, you just... How much control do you need? Mm -hmm. I mean, now that it, um, I believe it's uh, William Morris that bought the company, um, yeah, it, it it's going to change it completely. You know, I wish him luck. You know, Dana's still there. Um, I wish him luck. Uh, no, no hard feelings. You know, a couple of days ago on my Instagram at uh, Tito Ortiz nineteen ninety nine, I go on there live and my New Year's resolution. I couldn't understand what a New Year's resolution could do for me because I do so much stuff. Mm -hmm. But my yeah. New Year's resolution is to stop holding grudges because mm -hmm. I hold grudges and. Why let someone live in my mind rent free? Right. And exactly, man. I, they say you can't that. drink the poison so and expect somebody else to die. Yes. Like it totally and, tears you up. Yep. And so that that was my New Year's resolution is to, you know, fit, forgive and forget. And you I'm know what? Cool One thing, Tito, though, you've never lost the fight. You don't, you've never lost a fight in fire. No. You know what I'm saying? And one thing when you when you say, oh, I'm going to retire, you know how to turn it off. Yeah. But you never lost a fight in fire. Where you went in there and I'm like, man, you know, and no disrespect, like I, I saw Tyson. There's some boxers that just lose the fight and fire. Like, man, I don't, I don't want it's this It's hard, anymore. man. It's, yeah, man. The mental side of it is so hard just to get in there every single day. You understand, for this camp, Chell pinned me on my birthday 18 years ago. Right, yeah. yeah college, I have an opportunity exactly. to redeem myself. And this is birthday weekend. And this is my birthday. This is a reunion for me to redeem mm. myself. So for the last 14 weeks, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, I train three times a day. Tuesday, Thursday, I train four times a day. Saturday, I train twice. I'm lifting. You doing I'm running, that? I'm doing that. Damn, I'm lifting. Bro. I'm running. I'm wrestling. I'm sparring. I'm hitting mitts. I'm doing Muay Thai. I'm doing Jiu Jitsu. I'm doing all these work through the last 14 weeks. There's not one rock unturned over the last 14 weeks. Chel Sonnen better be ready. Right. And how this is can be a short ass fight? How can he beat that? He can't. He's exactly. taking three years off. He can't. Mm. Yeah, that's. He's crazy. coming off of uh, doing steroids. He can't. Right. You can't oh. replace hard work. You are not going to replace hard work. Another thing is I'm Mexican American, and I am not going to lose to him one thousand percent. I heard. And that. my mind is just I have dedicated my life to this fight. I've dedicated my career to this fight, and I have an opportunity to redeem myself. And I'm going to get my hand raised. Don't forget this yes, Saturday man. night, January twenty first. It is going down, man. 2017, once again, one of our great fights that's happening at the Forum, which is a beautiful yeah, venue. Oh, great I'm man. glad that you guys are doing it here, man. I'm honored, and man. it's only right, Tito, that for you are ours. Yeah. Yep. And to actually Thank get you. on that's any home. street or any freeway and go right to the Forum <laughs> to see your finale is yeah, amazing. It's, 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 I'm excited, man, to be in the Forum where some of the greatest athletes in the world have competed in you know i remember back in uh god magic johnson mm -hmm. doing bar. i mean i grown up watching them and i get an opportunity to do the same thing um i'm excited i'm really really excited i'm motivated this is a rest week for me i'll get my body is able to rest right what does that so mean hard. uh just uh hit mitts um okay. do a little bit of light drilling um do my two mile run um that's a light day oh but it's still, I got to get my heart rate high, you know, mm -hmm. do my sprints where my heart rate's up to about 170. And then I get it down to about a 99, 145 seconds. Tito, I've never yeah, seen gosh. you. And, I, and I've, I've been with you your whole career. I've never seen you even between fights and surgeries or anything where I looked at you. And I'm like, oh, Tito off his game. <laughs> yeah. You're like, on vacation. And I've you just look always off, like, nah. seen you. You know what I'm saying? Well, and I don't know what kind of weight you got to cut or whatever, but I've never seen you. Where I'm like, ooh, like, mm -hmm. man, Tito put on some pounds. Yeah, um, you know, like I said, I've never stopped training since I've been a freshman in high school. 
I've never stopped. Wow. I'm, I'm since 14 years old. I've always worked out. Dude, I've always, always worked out. You definitely owe it to yourself to get to at least 450. 450. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Lee, 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 that's one way to actually look. You gotta keep sending your kids to get the ball. Y'all gonna get it. Nah, <laughs> y'all gonna get it. Run it and back to dad. Once again, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be, you know, a, a good role, role model. model towards my children, man. Mm. You know, and I mean, not even a role model because I don't want anybody to, to model my life. More of an inspiration. Mm -hmm. I want to inspire my kids to be great, mm -hmm. and I'm already starting it now. And they, they see it, they know it, and they see other kids how they act. They're like, right. I, we don't act like them. I'm all, you see, we're building our character, son. And they understand character is a huge word in our family. Is building That's their what character. I say. And it, hey, man, it's great. Let me ask you this, Tito. Now, we've been seeing Conor McGregor running around talking about fighting Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> and it looked like Floyd's, even just the bait of having these conversations, yeah, the 25 from each person from Dana. How serious are do you even? Well, I think I know Floyd's going to get paid 100. I think Floyd's going to yeah, do it. He's worth 100. 100 million. But yeah. do you think, if it's, if it's the discipline of boxing, now knowing yeah. the world that you come from, the discipline of boxing, if they got into a boxing ring, who do you think wins that fight? Floyd's going to knock him out in the first, second round. Really, though? Yes. Now, mm -hmm. if they were doing MMA, who wins that fight? Floyd gets <laughs> he gets stopped in the first round. <laughs> See, yeah. That's it's so crazy. It's, it's, it's chest and checkers. Checkers being boxing, chess being MMA. There's so many different ways to win the game in uh, chess, and there's only one way to win the game in boxing, right. and that's punching. And in MMA, you can win by submission. You work my yeah. kicks to the head, up knees, elbows. I yeah, mean, bro. Right. There's so many different <laughs> ways. You can't compare them. I have no disrespect towards uh, Floyd. Floyd's one no, of the you best boxers it off. in the world. Yeah. And, but Conor McGregor, at his weight class, he's the best in the world. Right, right. If they the did guys. that discipline. Yes. Right. That certain discipline. Like I say, it's two different games. You're playing two different games. Man, mm. do you think something like that would could happen? Um, I think the boxing match is going to happen. I think Floyd, Floyd's already pressing for it. He wants to get paid. That's an easy payday for him. Easy. I, I think the books right now he's what like a two thousand minus. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and, uh, Damn. McGregor's like a one thousand plus. Yeah, yeah you got to put two thousand down down to win a nickel. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's your two thousand and five cents. So right. you're right, man. Wow. That's crazy that someone like Tito Ortiz could say that could happen. Because I'm just no, I, I I follow it. I watch. You know, I'm I'm a huge fan of uh, Mayweather, and I watch. And it's just Connor is lucky. He's a lucky man because Floyd has. His name coming out of his mouth. And I just, it makes me scratch my head. But Let me ask you this, Bob, man. Bob days. And not that you ever pat yourself on the back, but you got to you gotta understand the things that you brought to, to the sport and the competitiveness. And not just actually MMA, but just the way that you carried yourself, the hard work, the training, knowing how to sell a fight, talk mess, pull back. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Knowing how to win, knowing how to, how, to, how to take an L. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and bounce back. Right. Like there's so much that you have brought to that to the sport and so much that you have experienced and that you shared with us. Right. What would the legacy be? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like Integrity. Plain and simple. Mm -hmm. Integrity and inspiration. I've inspired. I've inspired myself. I'm inspired by inspiring others. Mm -hmm. And I've done it with integrity where, you know, I've, I've never bowed down to anybody. I did it my way, always. Yeah, man. And I, I don't I think that there's myself. one person that I could say he got out the game without fighting. And especially when you were in, it was monsters yes. in oh, there. Oh, yeah, bro. Mm. I always fought the top five guys in the world no matter what. No and matter if I come back with monsters. back surgeries, knee surgeries, neck surgeries, they always put me in the top guys every single time because I was a draw and they wouldn't yeah. want to fight – I mean, they wanted to build other names off me, you know. And I just watched BJ Penn his last fight, and it was kind of sad because they were yeah, building, it was man. They were building that that fighter off of BJ, and it was just, why would you treat BJ like that? It's like yeah, especially what he's given. And you gotta understand. I mean, no, no diss against BJ, but us fighters, we're very, very stubborn, mm -hmm. very, very stubborn individuals. And when they say we're gonna fight somebody, boom, game, they, let's, let's do, go. let's do, let's do this. Yeah, that's a true fighter, and that's what I've always done. I've always been like that. It was for the right amount of money, and I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna step in, I'm gonna fight. Now, BJ, he did the same thing, too, and he made mistakes. Mm -hmm. He just made little mistakes, and that kid being 24 years old, Mexican kid kicking Yeah, 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 Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Guy, I Rodriguez remember you was like, man, B, Yo, did you see it? Bro. I was like, oh. No, because I, I didn't know. I mean, I was training with BJ a little bit at Ruka, and um, we actually, last week before the fight, and I was like, who's he fighting anyways? He's always fighting Rodriguez. And I, and I looked the kid oh. up, and I was like, man, who's his manager? Yeah. I, uh, let me manage that kid, man. BJ... He should not be taking that fight right now. But it's just one of those things. They're trying to build 
a kid, younger kid off a legend. And they Damn, did it that night. Crazy. And it's sad. And it happened. And treated them like that, man. It's just makes me scratch my head. And I know the listeners don't understand that, you know, just a factor of it. You want to fight the best guys in the world. But when someone doesn't have a name, you get an opportunity to build your name off of somebody else who's kind of paved the way for the lightweight division. It's, uh, it's kind of disrespectful. Will you stay, Tito, and continue to train other fighters, keep people in the gym? Do you know what I'm saying? I, I, I Are would you like a to help, you know, help, help other fighters, yes, uh, 100%. Um, of course, uh, management is a huge thing that I want to get into. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to make sure I try to build other legends, try to build other uh, superstars, and make sure they make the right decisions and not the bad decisions that I've made through my career. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a smart thing. I have a lot of intel, I think, that I've had over the last 20 years mm -hmm. and possibly coming on board with Bellator and helping with their promotions. And they better bring you on. Hell and, yeah. Uh, they don't better bring me on. It's okay. <laughs> Shit, I, 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 I said it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I work hard. I yeah. work really hard in everything I do. Um, and, you know, Bellator, I've seen that over the last three and a half years. That yes, sir. I, I put my nose to the grindstone either in the gym or doing interviews. Um, I do as much work as I possibly can. Bellator 170, that's Tito Ortiz taking on Cheo Sonnen. And also for those out there, man, broadcast it all the way live. Spike TV, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Yep. Central. And you get great fights. Mm -hmm. And so it's yeah. free. So free. I was about and to say free. that. Mm -hmm. And it's free. That's why I came to Bellator, man. That's I got so sick dope, of the pay-per-views, man. man. I got sick of the pay-per-views. I, I make the same money no matter what. To me, it was about giving the fans my favorite, my best fights so that I possibly can give for free. Right. And, and sometimes, man, I've been in where I'm like almost want to call cats like, hey, um, can I get my $65 <laughs> back? <laughs> like, good Lord. Like, yeah, bro. Quick. yeah, like this Too is. Too quick. This, yeah, 60 and, and then you get something that's $100. You're like, man, you crazy as no, hell. Yeah, lost their mind. <laughs> All right. Now, the last time we had you here, man, I am so glad that mm -hmm. I did not personally bet you. <laughs> Thank you. On the I knew this was coming. There it <laughs> goes. Yeah. Bro, knows. what? I already know. I know. Know. We talk about this all the time, bro. All the time, bro. We talk all about this time. all the time. I am so glad that I didn't bet you. Mm -hmm. Because remember we were talking about we, we were talking about the uh the subway sandwiches, that the foot long wasn't a foot long. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Then we found yeah. out that, that they not foot long. And I would have betted you. Yeah, yeah. You know, there it is right there. What what you thought I was talking about? Trump. Yeah. That's right, baby. Yeah, man. Our president. Man. That's he is crazy. our president. Yeah, man. He is our president. And people, should, I think they should really just uh, embrace it and stop hating yeah. on it. I mean, and my thing, is, my thing is this, man. You came out the gate as a Trump supporter. Yes. You held ground. Wait, no, no, no. I'll, I'll correct you. I did not come out the gate as a true... Um, Trump supporter just because of the things he said about Mexicans. And right, okay. Because I, 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 TMZ has this on video. But as I got closer and as I started seeing the truth behind a lot of the things... Um, I was 100% aboard. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I don't want to say right off the bat, oh, I was a true supporter. Ah, right, right, right. But longer than a but lot in the, of cats. In the beginning, yeah. I mean, the first thing when I got to it, I was like, you know, I'm not a political person. Mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, and then as I started watching it, and I was like, all right, let me start doing my research. I want to do it because I, I know Trump. And he was an amazing guy, very humble person. A guy Because you did the apprentice with him. I did the apprentice him. with him, reached out to me. He donated $50,000 into my charity, St. Jude's Chosen Hospital. Mm -hmm. And he was a guy who pulled me aside and I, uh, I had an opportunity to talk to him as man to man. And it was, I saw a hardworking individual that wanted to be great for his family, and his name was number one. And that's what he cared about was his name and have no dirt on his name. Well, as a president, he wants to be the best president in the world ever, or excuse me, in the United States has ever happened. And I was like, all right, let's do homework on this guy. I want to see what, what this uh -huh. guy, what his backing and everything went. And he's a businessman. Right. And like we said the last time, you, there's absolutely, even my brother, there's not you don't agree with 100 no. percent not at all no. and were you ever looking at some of the stuff tito like oh my god like yes ooh. a few times i mean the pro-life thing with uh well, i think we spoke about that mm. last time um mm -hmm. I, I i think a, a woman should have her choice right 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 i do think that she should so it's almost like a buffet where it's like okay i take this i won't take yeah, that yeah. but i mean at the end of the day it, it's about keeping our country safe do you mm -hmm. wish he would stop tweeting sometimes though um sometimes yeah but you know <laughs> it, it, it shows that he's a real person mm -hmm. it shows that there's nobody telling him what to do but do you think that maybe there's gonna have to come a point where someone's gonna say you have to stop watching saturday night live and yeah, focus yeah, yeah. on this meeting that we have and this briefing and you've been training so you probably issues. don't know all this huh? yeah no i, 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 I no, did they have I, to I come and tell him. you that he won <laughs> like, what no, <laughs> no no i was i was 
I was there. I, was I know watching, I got yeah. your text. Yeah, mm. no. <laughs> I, Motherfucker. I was, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, too. Oh, well, yeah. Not only did he text, he sent me a video. <laughs> oh, my gosh, did one. he? Yeah, I was like, okay. So I, and I was sitting there waiting for them to announce it. And I'm like, man, I got to go train right now. And I was like, 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, come on. You guys got to know by now. And I was like, you know what the hell with it? I'm going to train. So I went and trained and I came back. And my girlfriend had a big wow. smile on her face. She's like, guess what? I'm all he won. Right. Yes. And th- then I woke up uh, the next morning with, and, with bubble guts crying. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and my wife good. was like, what's wrong? I said, guess what? <laughs> I just got a text from Tito. Won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and Tito's gloating. Yeah. And Tito, you, you took a lot of flack over. A lot of it. Uh, over just. Oh, man. I and can I still do. Right. You're gonna, you understand. I, I still do. Because when we had the interview, man, they was tearing you apart. Cool. And it, it, I speak it, it my happened. I speak my own, speak what uh-huh. I believe in. And yeah, that, and that's what makes us Americans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're, we're I have freedom of speech, mm-hmm. and my freedom of speech is someone who I believe that it would be great for our country. And um, look at he's not even president yet, and he already could help the drought. Yeah, right, you know, the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he's God. Wow. 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 I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. Now he's Mother joke. Nature. Come on, man. We're about to push you too. Oh, I'm big the month. No, the joke every once in a while. Hello. But no, and, and what I tell people as well, man, I'm like, you know what? Whatever it may be, love, hate, this, that, or another, you can't, I can't sit here and say, man, I hope he fails. Definitely not. Because oh, if he fails, no, man. we all fail. We all fail. That's what people got to understand. And you know? that's what, you know, whatever you feel, like, I'm dev- I never was like, oh, I'm going and I'm going to vote for Trump. Yeah. And the only thing about it, like, that's why they say, oh, you don't get into political conversations with people. Uh-huh. Like, I could respect you for whoever you're voting for. Mm-hmm. The same yeah. way I'm pretty sure you respect who I'm voting for. Yeah. And I'm not going to sit here now and say, man, I hope he crashed the car. Why? You know no, what I'm saying? Like, of course, do I wish we had a different driver? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm on board. I, I got, I, so, as an American, I got to be. Like, I'm not picking up going nowhere else. Right. You know, yeah, all the people true. that are like, oh, he's, I'm going, like, you ain't going nowhere. No. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, I made a bet with my father in law. Um, I'm glad Christmas I didn't Eve. bet you that day. Yeah, though. man. No, no, no. Just recently, Christmas mm-hmm. Eve, I, after he won, and I made a bet, and he says, uh, he was a big uh, Hillary supporter. And uh, if from the date of Christmas Eve till next year, when we have Christmas family, Christmas mm-hmm. Eve dinner, if our country isn't better than it was this last year, he's going to give me 100 push-ups and 100 burpees. And he's 60 years old. Wow. wow. And if I lose, I'll give him 500 push-ups and 500 burpees Man, on Christmas Eve. So let that's me tell bet. you what I think could happen there, too. Like, when Obama was in, the Republicans really stood together mm-hmm. on not pushing things through, right. mm-hmm. not coming aboard. You know, the sky is blue, no, it's orange. It, a lot of that happened, Tito, where there was mm-hmm. a lot of resistance. I think that the Democrats, the Democrats, I think they're going to get more in line for let's really, if this is good for the country. A lot of yes. times things were good for the country, but the Republicans weren't on board. At all. Right. It was like, we can't get signatures. We're going to push it back. We're going to mm-hmm. repel this. So, so I think that a lot of the good that we're going to see in that year with you and, and the bet, I'm thinking a lot of that comes from the Republicans having ideas and everybody also making sure that, Let's do this right stuff for the country. That's yes, what I for hope the for. Country. I hope for the same Man. thing. Man. Yeah. And I mean, I, I I look at it and can't we all just get along? Right. Hello. <laughs> and you know what I hate, bro? I just hate the the great divides that's yeah. going Should on. Be, we shouldn't be divided. People that don't know. United we Trump, stand. Obama, divided we fall. Clinton, yes. Plain and simple. That's as, as easy as it can be said. I mean, united we stand, divided we fall. Now, a, a lot of people had things to say about your Tito social media. Hey, did anyone ever come and say anything to your face? Nope. Hell Hell that crazy, well, huh? And let me tell you, when I'm doing Don't my bike ride, we're talking about this earlier, me doing my 20 mile bike rides. Um, and I have a Make America Great Again hat, red Damn. one, and I wear, wear it, it every single. And I'm going down the um from Huntington, <laughs> wow, and Warner, PCH and Warner all the way to the pier and all the way back. And let me tell you, about seventy, ah, about eighty five percent, I get thumbs up. Yeah, and, and well, look where you at. Yeah, it's no, okay. you you're gonna no, get. no, you're no, 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 yeah. no, no. There's so many closet people. There's so many closet people that are hey, Trump man, supporters. Hey man, you keep that. Man. Oh, oh, you, oh, okay. Where's your mind at, man? Oh, no, get your mind out of gutter. Oh, okay. Come on, big boy. We, just, we, we don't go that way, homeboy. I'm like, man, don't be bringing my business up in here. It was a hell of a contract. But yeah, so yeah, a lot. And then it's just people are in hope to make a difference. You know. um I, I just see it now and I see the news and I just and my thing is I, man, I, I don't watch news and last night in my hotel room for the first time I turned the news on and it was miserable 
It's mm-hmm. just so miserable. Yeah, man. It's so negative. I mean, mm-hmm. not in general, just the politics side, but just life. They mm-hmm. they want to just put everything under a microscope and explode everything to get ratings, and it's sad. Yeah, the first. The, that's why my kids are afraid of the news. Yeah, mm-hmm. like they like oh, we don't want to watch the news. Draining. But you know what, Tito, man, I don't even want to spend any more, not just our time talking, but just my time, like the battles of just like oh, like Trump is in. He's you know in, what I'm saying. Bro. Sometimes yeah. I'm gonna tell you straight up to you. I look at the TV. I'm like, damn, that's effing crazy yeah you know what i'm saying like like that's trump i still can't stomach yeah, it to be it, honest you gotta, but gotta accept it I it mean, is what it is unfortunately yeah. I, mean, I mean and and all the mexicans saying that oh all of a sudden he's gonna deport me and deport every- uh-huh. where is this happening it's not happening nothing none of that's gonna happen well he's not that, was a, I, step, I think, that was a scare t- come on big boy that was a scare tactic i think that was a way for the for the, the democrats to make everybody believe that's gonna happen it's not gonna happen i think the the major concern more than just like a general him deporting Mexicans is the fact that they're scared that the DACA and the DAPA program are going to be taken away from them, mm-hmm. which was an executive order that Obama had to put through because the Republicans were so against it. And just like Obama used an executive order, they're scared that now Trump will do the same because he did threaten that he would. So that's and it was only the, the bad people, though. The, the scary. It was all the criminals, but, but, right? No, but that, that's not right because actually the DACA and the DAPA only allow, allows uh-huh. people who don't have a criminal record mm-hmm. to right. be here. So he per, Obama allowed those people with a clean record to be here and to go to school and to have a social security and to come out and not be afraid. And now those people who are now on record yeah, are record afraid now. because it's like, mm-hmm. now you know where I live. Now now what's going to happen? I'm, now I'm working. Like Now they're scared. Okay, it, and well, it's a true feeling. When that does happen, I'll have to come in here and apologize to you, and uh, mm-hmm. we'll have to help to fight to make sure that doesn't happen. Go ahead. I, sp- I, I support that. I 100% I support that. Like I say, I don't agree on 100%, yeah. 100% of things uh-huh. he does, right. but I just could not agree with Clinton of having open borders, plain no, and simple. No, I don't, I don't agree with that either. I, it was, it, there were some things that, why sell out our country? Yeah. No reason to sell out our country. She was selling out our country to the highest bidder. Plain and simple. This Saturday night, Bellator yes. 170. <laughs> Main event, that's yep. the way my man gets down, man. Yes. Chael Sonnen, it is going down. Make sure. Free purview. Yes, man. Free purview yes. on free Spike at 9 p.m. Eastern, purview. 8 p.m. Central. Not only that, uh, tickets are only uh, 30 bucks. They start at $30, man. I love man. it. Get them on Ticketmaster. Nice. And yeah, I man. love that. And the I form think those are the only ones gr- left. So. Right. Yeah. 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 Get them now. <laughs> hey, man, and I love that you guys are doing it at the forum. I love the career that you had and how you belong to us and we lent you to the world. And you at home. And to see see you at home yeah, you know no, what i'm saying it's kind of funny actually in a yeah. great fight too though i'm on my my driver that was coming over here that works for bellator and he says how long have you known big boy i go god since like 2000 yeah wow. i remember when i was the champion i saw him at lax and i think i was coming back from vegas and i ran up to him on big boy and big tito. fan of you man here's my card any possible <laughs> way i get on your show one and time let me tell you what's crazy that's about crazy. that tito i think it was even before that's that crazy. I it was like because 99. i started was, watching you it was 99 and you were in the airport it oh, yes. appeared by yourself. Yes, you know what I'm I saying. I drove here by my. I still by myself. I, I, I don't need to roll deep. I'm but a bad <laughs> folk. I don't need to roll deep. Come on. But I would watch you, security. and I'd be like, "Oh, that's that kid. Oh, that's that guy, Tito. That's it." Yeah, yeah. And then just watching you through your career, yeah. and I'm gonna tell you straight up, man. Like for the years, the many years, the decades that I've seen and known you, you have never changed to me. Where I looked and I, every time I seen you, Tito, always a firm handshake. Mm. Always humble looked man, into your eye. Stay humble, What's happening, man. big yes, boy? Sir, you know what I'm saying? If I didn't see you first, yeah. you made sure you came and 100%. saw me. Yeah. My kids, my yeah. wife, my yeah. my ex. What You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, no. I'm I never, like that. and I'm talking about at the highest when it been like, oh man, he done changed. No. Like, hey. no, always. No, no. And that's something that I've learned to people who have been, been very, very successful in their careers is stay humble. You look at Dwayne Johnson. He's a humble, humble man. Mm-hmm. You look at Kevin Hart. He's a humble, humble man. Mm-hmm. You, you stay humble, you don't get lost. Right, but you come from True. also the world of braggadocio. Like you yeah. gotta be mm-hmm. the best. And I, but but you know what I'm saying. But you knew how to once you got out. Cool. Yeah, it, it's just a job to me. Like I would day. see like you as a fly on the wall sometimes. Be like, yeah, Tito's on. What the hell? Like just quiet. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm cool. I try to be like I said, man. I try to stay humble. You know, I try to try to stay grounded. I'm not better than anybody else. I just got a great job, and I'm very successful from it, and I'm thankful for it. Man, then your suit gained and got ridiculous. Hell yeah, bro. bro. That's a nice suit. Now we come up. All come right, on, man. man. <laughs> gotta make it look good. He like, I'm blowing these candles out big. I had to get some suits too. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, sure. But man, 
good skill to you. Thank yeah, you for coming bro. and hanging out with us. Always, I appreciate Happy you guys, early man. birthday to Woo! you. Thank you very much. And yes. also, man, just as a as a fan first as well. I appreciate just the blood, the sweat, the bro. tears, yes. the sacrifice. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Thank Taking you. an entire organization, an entire MMA, just everything, and putting that on your shoulders. And you introduce that to the world, bro. Thank you very much. And your much. name will forever, forever live. Thank you. When very you put much. your gloves down and put down whatever it may be. You'll always be the champion, and that's mm-hmm. Tito Ortiz. And I thank you, brother. That makes me and I've had good. a great career with you, and this good, is man. crazy, crazy to yeah, me. Bro. But it's time. You made me and, emotional and right now, dog. Yeah, crazy. Oh, I, crazy I, 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 though. I, I give my heart and soul to Last. the sport. I give my heart and soul to the fans. I give my heart and soul to the family. Um, at the end of the day, I did it with integrity. Yeah, man. And I did it like no other. And you um, did it very well. And for all the Latino kids out there who think they can't achieve anything in life, or the parents are drug addicts, or the, you know their parents say they ain't shit. Excuse my language. Go ahead. It, it's it's you can do it. You can do anything in this world that you have your mind you're set to. Because I was that kid that I remember my teacher saying, "You're gonna be a little a bum when you grow older." And I looked at him and one day I'm gonna prove you wrong. Watch. Mm-hmm. And with hard work and dedication and respect, mm. and don't ever give up on yourself. You can achieve anything in this world. Ladies it's a great country we live in. And I, I appreciate everyone's support. Thank Tito you. Ortiz, ladies and gentlemen, Yo, don't yeah. forget Woo! this weekend yes. it is going down. Tito Ortiz, Chael Sonnen at the Forum in Inglewood, Bellator 170. That's the main event that's yep. going down, ladies and gentlemen. Free purview on Spike yep. at 9 p.m., 8 p.m. Central. And don't forget for those out there, man, tickets are available. We still have a few. Real 92.3 LA's home for hip-hop. Big Boys Big Neighborhood. Boy.